Hi, welcome back to Projects with Everyday Dave. Today I'm going to show you how I ran low voltage wires in these ICF foam walls. I didn't originally plan to put these power solar shades in and these windows are nine feet tall. So I came up with a method to do it pretty quick and easy and I thought I'd share it with you. So let's take a look. Today I'm going to go over a method of running low voltage wires in ICF walls after construction is complete or mostly complete. I didn't plan for powering window shades in my windows and before I put the trim in I want to run some low voltage wires but I didn't want to use a, a long auger bit or actually even buy a long auger, auger bit so um, I came up with this solution using driveway marker posts. These are fiberglass posts that you can get at your hardware store or on Amazon and just uh, take the little cap off the end, mark the depth that you want to drill at, and then drill a hole using a, a small, small drill bit in the end that you'll use to fish your line through. And then in my case um, I'm going through a section of the wall that is vertical and then I'm going to meet up horizontally through the floor joist so I'm using this two inch auger bit with uh, a self tapping or self feeding uh, point on it and, and that's important because I'm I'll be doing it overhead and it's difficult to cut large holes like that with a hole saw so this one makes pretty quick work of it and then I'll just chuck that up in my uh, rigid drill and drill that through as well as uh, chucking up this driveway marker in my drill and it burrows right through the foam with no problem using the tip that's already machined onto it and I'll show you how to do that. So let's get to it. We'll just go ahead and put it in the chuck and because it's flexible I can bend it to get into tight spaces in this case I'm going to put a hole through this section of the wall so that I can run the low voltage wire from this window over to that one and only have one run into the basement for this particular case. So I'll line it up with this whole location and then I can bend the rod slightly so that I get a straight hole through the foam. should be out the other end now at which point I can take a string and feed it through the hole I drilled in the end of the rod unchuck and pull it back through a string that I can use to pull my wire back through and that works great for low voltage wire and in my case because I have ICF walls you can see here that two and a half inches of the wall behind the drywall is foam so it's very easy to put penetrations through for after the fact wiring so that's across. Um, you can see here I've already drilled one down to go into the basement and I'll show another one here in a minute where I'll drill a hole through the floor joist with our two inch auger bit and then I will drill from above with this rod to connect the two holes and that will allow us to drop these lines into the basement so that we don't have to have any unsightly plugs on the surface of the wall for our blinds installation. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're gonna use a two inch auger bit to drill a hole through the rim joist. I marked a line to line up with where I am in the window above. So now we'll drill a hole through the joist. OK, 
Okay, now we'll drill from above to meet up with that hole. So now we're gonna take our driveway marker drill bit and we're going to start it in this hole. I've marked the position of where it should be to match up with the hole from below. And then I try and make sure the drill bit is as straight as possible. Now we'll see if that lines up with the hole we drilled down below. If it does, we can put our string through it and pull the string through. All right, so we can look in our hole. And sure enough, our drill bit has landed almost perfectly with our hole. So now we'll just feed a string through the tip and pull it up. Okay, we connected the string to our uh, drill bit down below. Now all we have to do is pull it up and the string should come with it. There it is. Now I can connect the wire down below and pull the wire up through. So I'm gonna take my uh, 18 gauge stranded wire and connect it to this uh, pull string that we fed through the hole with a little bit of duct or uh, with a little bit of electrical tape. Now that the wire is connected to the string, we'll go upstairs and pull it up from a, from below to feed our wire up to the window. Take this string from up here and pull the wire up through our hole. And there we go. Now I can run it up the wall to supply power to the blinds at the top. Okay, the blinds came with a power plug and I wanna use that power supply, but I'm just gonna lengthen it using the cable that I ran through the wall. So I cut the plug end off and stripped the wires, making sure to keep track of which one is positive and which one is negative. And I do an offset so that if the wires were to ever come close to each other, they won't short out. And then as an extra measure, I'll put some shrink tube on and shrink over the soldered connections. Just put a little solder on the joint and fold it over, slide the shrink tube up, and then just use a heat gun to shrink the tube on. Now I have two nice staggered connections with shrink tube over them we shouldn't have to worry about that coming apart. Now I can just run that up the wall and it'll be hanging there for when I go to connect the blinds. I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to set the wire uh, between the jam and the foam so that when I put the trim in it won't get caught and that also makes sure that I don't run screws through the wire accidentally. So a little hot glue every few inches up and down the wall, make sure that it'll be in place for me. Then I just need to cut a groove in the foam to make sure that the wire doesn't get caught by the sill when I slide the sill in. Just dig that out with a utility knife and a screwdriver to make a little channel for it. Once I slide that in and get it pulled tight, I can just seat it with a little bit of hot glue and we're good to go. Now all I have to do is follow the same process for the plug end and I'll just strip the wires, solder them up, put a little bit of shrink tube over them and we'll have our plug connected from the basement all the way up to the blinds upstairs. And that process was really pretty easy and it worked really well. Next we'll install the trim and the solar shades. I'll do a couple of videos to show you how I did that. So stick around and check them out. I'll see you next time.